Hi there. Uh, today I wanted to share with you something real quick. I know I always say real quick, but uh, this is another revelation. I guess uh, as I grow in the Lord, he gives me revelations and I can't wait to share with you because we live by revelations. That's the spiritual food that our body needs to eat. And <clears throat> excuse me, the revelation that he gave me just recently is one of those life-changing revelations that he often gives to me. But it's about communion. I understand about communion before, but now I really got like a whole new take on it because uh, in this book that I'm writing about the spirit, soul, and body and punching holes in darkness is called, I have a revelation of that we are a spirit being, we live in a body and we have a soul, that my spirit being already has everything and, is, and it's already in there and it's sealed and it, it's mine I just have to pull it out so this revelation and the reason um, the thing is that our we're born again by incorruptible seed and I always saw that before and I knew you know okay the Word of God but I see it differently now it's a lot deeper than that we're born again by incorruptible seed which is the Word of God well when we were Adam and Eve was in the garden they ate from the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil and what does a fruit produce I mean what does a tree produce fruit okay they ate from the fruit and so what did that mean mean that meant that the fruit that they ate that they produced a harvest of that fruit they had that seed in them of the corrupt garden of the corrupt fallen nature of man of the knowledge of well not of corrupt men that's what happened as a result the knowledge of good and evil became a seed in them and they began to live from the outside in in other words everything around the world now influenced them uh, became their uh, the truth okay instead of God from the inside out being the truth changing the atmosphere changing situations subduing ruling and having dominion that seed see where I'm getting at this gets really exciting so when it comes to communion what you're doing when you eat the blood and the body of Christ is you are eating from the tree of life. You are eating physical food that is a symbol and seed to go inside of you spiritually and become the fruit and the harvest of the tree of life because Jesus is a tree of life. Instead of the tree of corruption, it's a tree of life. And so revelation knowledge becomes your life. Everything comes from the spirit realm inside of you out. And when you take communion, you're remembering his death. You're saying, hey, when somebody dies, it means their will's in force. And God's will is that we live on, that the kingdom of God is in us. And we live by the kingdom, which says that God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that is from the inside out. So that revelation of the corrupt seed of the fruit and producing more harvest to fallen man and then taking the word of God, the uncorruptible seed inside of you. And when you take communion, it's a spiritual thing and a physical thing. And it and spiritually it becomes the tree of life inside of you, which is revelation knowledge, which is a manifested lifestyle of the supernatural power of God which is also it which is eternal life and knowing God experiencing God being one with God and as you take communion you should receive healing you should receive deliverance you should receive revelation knowledge uh, so, so much so that you become a revivalist that you become the person that brings revelation out of you one thing God told me recently that was exciting to me a long time ago, God showed me that I was a revivalist and I kind of gotten away from that. And uh, he told me from now on to call myself a revivalist because of my, my name, Robin, means son of bright flame. And that's kind of, I feel as though I'm a bright flame uh, because my personality is not quiet and calm and submissive and <laughs> it's... I'm just me. What you see on the screen is what you get. And I don't play games. I'm I'm me. I don't like gossip. I don't like backbiting. I don't like talking about people. I just love people. 
and I want to love him more. So for him to remind me never to, 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 to from now on call myself a revivalist is really exciting because I believe that I'm to bring the kingdom of God um, on earth as it is in heaven, that I am through my ventriloquism and clowning, that I'm to bring, he told me my commission is to feed God's people joy. And just recently, he just pulled it all around in a circle. And when I go in and I minister as Ribbons the Clown or as Robin Bremer, comic ventriloquist, I'm supposed to bring healing, healing medicine from heaven, he said, which is the joy of the Lord. And so while I'm ministering and they're laughing, it's going to be a supernatural laugh. It's not uh, just because of what I'm doing. I'm just like the kickstarter, you know, just get them going. And the Holy Spirit ministers to them through laughter and through joy and the in the in the Lord's presence is fullness of joy and laughter is like medicine and then people will begin to get healed as I minister as Ribbons the Clown or as comic ventriloquist Rob Bremer. So I'm excited because that is my whole I knew my whole purpose one of my whole 